these chicks underestimating you because of your age huh <laughs> get ready for an ass whooping when I'm getting off, these bitches with no father figures, they be tricking off. Feel me? They be off the keys, knees, and that's for show. If they try to run between these, I'll blow they doors. Put the jinx on them all like the South Moors. Cause these bitches got the goal of holler hardcore. I'm cracking jaws. Had to be the South Pole with no look. Give a fuck about these bitches, uh, and that's the hook. You know how I'm gonna get it, split it off the books. And you ain't got to love me, trust me, sit me. All right, all right, all right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, great news, okay, great news. Um, and all the information that I have, it's, it's very limited. But Mario Reno, they have found her an opponent for UFC Fight Night uh, 115 because I was getting angry. I was completely getting angry. And I was like, okay, they can't find this girl nobody, but they, they did. They found her somebody. And... Um, you know, yeah, and she kept it real brief, you know, didn't tell, you know, much of anything, but she said, yeah, they got an opponent, and uh, the only, the only thing that I got was, <laughs> it's a Brazilian, yay, don't know who it could be, but you know what, we'll find out, oh, we will find out, we'll probably, we'll probably know sometime tomorrow, okay, but I am going to build up the fight, and I'm going to spend the rest of the week, uh, as soon as I find out who the opponent is, I'm going to just, I'm going to build that fight. And each day, I'm going to maybe make an excerpt about the fight. And then uh, I'm going to also um, build up Nunez and Shevchenko too. Okay, I'm going to start building those fights and really uh, doing that. And I'm also going to do, I'm, I'm trying to get a promo done. You know, an unofficial promo for the nunez Shevchenko fight. I don't know. Let me see how it all works out boy, on my time. Because uh, I'm still trying to finish up this uh, Lucinda Riker uh, video. But, uh, you know, I was about to ask Sean Shelby. I was going to actually try to call and figure out how to talk to this guy because I'm trying to think, how are you going to explain this? But it's going to be a good fight. And I'm glad because she's been training and she's got to, you know, she's been having to really take some time out of school to go. And that's why she was kind of hoping that she could fight in the summertime, you know, when school was out. But trust me, Mari, I feel you, Bruiser. I feel you. I know. Starting back school and getting everything ready. Oh, I got you. But, yeah, man, this is good news, okay? Um, and we don't know who the opponent is, okay? And hopefully, you know, we, we'll definitely find out on Monday. If not Monday, you know, they need to let us know by Tuesday so I can properly, you know, promote this fight. But, you know, still nonetheless, man, it's still good news for the bruiser. Um, you know, sorry it couldn't have been Jermaine Durandame. Sorry it couldn't have been because that would have been, that would have been probably, that, that would have been an epic fight. Because these two, you know, definitely would have brought it. But, you know, hey, things happen, you know. I hope Jermaine Durandame, you know, I hope she does get the hand surgery and I hope she does get better, you know, because even though, you know, I have some ill agreements with Jermaine, I'm not a person that want to see people, you know, that I disagree with for them to be, you know, in pain and suffering. That's just, that's just some negative person that, you know, that people are. But some people, they don't know how to forgive. They don't know how to do anything, you know, and that's probably why, you know, so many people are, are walking around that's sick because they don't know how to forgive people. I do. I forgive people all the time, every day, and that's what you're supposed to do. But anyway, enough about that. You know, I'm definitely pulling for Mari. Um, she's worked very hard uh, in the UFC. She's worked very hard, and people always say, well, yeah, she's 40 years old. But you know what? Mari looks like she's about 30. And it's no secret, this woman takes good care of her body. She takes care of herself. She eats the right foods. Guys, this is no secret. You know, why, why do people, you know, it's like 40. 40 is not old. They would call him Mayweather old. Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather don't even look 40 years old. He don't even look 40 years old. Doesn't look that old, okay? But it's, it's that, you know, he's not drinking. He's not smoking. He's not doing a whole lot of things. He's actually taking care of his body. That's what Marion does. She's not out here drinking. She's not out here smoking. You know, she's not doing a whole lot. No, she's actually treating her body as the temple that she got to live in. Because you got to live in that body every day. You got to live in the body every day. But, uh, yeah, man, hey, you know, definitely, uh, Marion, I'm going to see if I can get a few of my brothers to try to promote this fight. A lot of them don't know much about women's MMA, but, you know, a lot of them, I know they will, you know, try to push and promote this fight um, because we're the Lions Den, you know. And the Lions Den, you know, we we go into the Lions Den and we fight, we argue, but at the end of the day, the brothers of the Lions Den, we're here to push, okay. We're here to push fighters. That's what we do, okay. Um, and we push everybody, so don't let nobody tell you that we only push one kind of fighter. We push everybody. 
We push everybody that's legit. But uh, shout out to Mario Reno. Shout out to uh, Sean Shelby. Okay. Shout out to Sean Shelby for getting this done. You know, and I know Dana White. He's been very, very occupied. He's been occupied with the, um, you know, with the Conor McGregor. Him and uh, uh, he was. He's been occupied with the May Mac. So I know he's not had a lot of time to really concentrate on UFC Fight Night 115. But you know, yeah, man. So shout out to Sean Shelby. This is one where I can say, okay, Sean Shelby. I don't have to say, Sean, how you going to explain this, Sean Shelby? I ain't got to ask that. I see what Sean Shelby has done. Shout out to the UFC for getting it done. Okay, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done, guys. And remember, next week, guys, is Ray No versus whoever she's fighting. I, 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 I was very vague. I didn't get much, but I know she'll probably be fighting a Brazilian, and that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube. Hmm, wait a minute, Brazilian. I wonder. I wonder if it's... <laughs> I think I know who it is. But you guys tell me, who do you think that they are pairing Marion Reno up with? Who do you think? I think I know who it is, but I'm not going to say. I want you guys to tell me, who do you think? This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.